you. Do you want to learn how I took these Instagram pictures all by myself in quarantine? If so, keep watching this video. Hi everyone, I'm Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I took Instagram pictures by myself in quarantine. Just gonna briefly describe my equipment real quick. So I do have a DSLR camera. It's the Canon T3i as well as two lenses. I used to be really into photography and stuff in high school, so I just still have that equipment. The phone also has a timer feature that you can use and honestly, a lot of the pictures that I took with my phone I like a lot better than the camera ones. I also have a tripod that I use, which you will see in the video. It's really helpful for setting up. Okay, but let's just get into the first shoot. So the first shoot I decided to do was outside in my backyard. I set up my camera and tripod and just started taking pictures, as you can see, in front of like bushes and trees in my backyard. I liked the green a lot and I found that the background was really nice and also it moved around so it was kind of dynamic and not just one thing. But yeah, you can literally just see me playing around with the timer options and posing and stuff like that. Honestly, I hate posing for pictures. I usually don't even really take pictures of myself but I was just really bored and I wanted to try these things out. So this is me taking pictures of myself. Of course I had to try out bringing out my mirror to the backyard and at first I tried taking pictures with my camera with the mirror, like reflecting into the mirror if you can see, and those ones turned out okay, but honestly I started taking phone pictures with my phone in the mirror and I really like those. I also tried taking pictures in my front driveway in front of the fence as you can see, but this ended very quickly because a car like pulled up to my neighbor's house and then they started watching me so it was really awkward and um, then I stopped filming and taking pictures. Here are some of the raw photos that I took with my phone and also my camera. I think they turned out really nice. I think the green and the blue of the sky was just really nice as like a nice backdrop for the pictures. I also tried putting my mirror on the floor. The sky was kind of overcast this day so there it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be because it was kind of overcast but honestly it wasn't too bad. Like it was fine. But yeah, after this day I just took my photos and like imported to my computer then I airdropped it to my iPad usually I'll edit on my phone but today I wanted to edit on my iPad just because it was a bigger screen so I can see the pictures better I use a Lightroom app to edit the photos as you can see I kind of started with just like auto editing it like Lightroom has this auto feature but then I also played around with like the hue and the color board because I wanted to kind of turn down the green because I found it was too intense honestly um, so I played with like turning up the orange to make myself look more tan and then turning down the green to make it a little less vibrant and cropping the pictures to make sure that it looked nice and then also turning up saturation brightness exposure all that kind of stuff honestly the best thing to do with these is just play around with it and see what you like because it's gonna be different for every photo almost and I found it kind of therapeutic to kind of like slide the color bars around and watch the picture change which is really cool but yeah this shoot was honestly really fun I really like the outdoor like lighting and stuff like that and here are some of the finished photos So for the second shoot that I did, it was like an indoor shoot that played with more lighting and colors and stuff like that. I decided to wear this Babaton top that was like a tube top with a little ruffle thing. First shoot that I was doing was the toilet paper flashlight thing that I saw on TikTok and some of my friends do. So at first I didn't have a toilet paper roll and I literally tried to take the toilet paper roll out of the like current toilet paper thing that I'm using right now, but it didn't really work because the toilet paper thing was gonna fall apart. So what I decided to do instead was roll up construction paper and then just tape it on my phone. I don't know why I didn't think of this first, but you know, that's just how it be sometimes. From there, I set up my tripod and my camera in front of a blank wall in my room and then I just started snapping away. I think this was super fun um, just to play with the lighting and also just move around the phone to see what would happen with the flashlight and stuff like that because as you can see at the beginning, I started with the phone at the bottom like on the floor and then I realized that it didn't really light up my face as well as I wanted so then I moved the phone onto like my bed or like different angles like to the side and stuff like that so it definitely changed the photos a lot and I actually really like 
liked playing with it although the photos didn't turn out that well honestly at the end but I really enjoyed playing with the flashlight um, eventually the toilet paper thing or like roll or whatever fell off my phone because the tape wasn't strong enough so I just played with the flashlight feature putting it at different angles and different sides and stuff like that I really like this one where I put my phone beside me so that the light was coming from one side I really like that I also have this colored like lamp in my room that changes colors so I decided to play with that. It shows up a lot better on the, the camera that I'm currently filming with like you can literally see my room changing the entire color but on photos like I, it barely shows up like it's super dark. Again, I took the photos that I liked and I put them into Lightroom and then just edited it. This one, I definitely played with the color a lot more, changing the hue and the saturation just to make the photos a little more like artsy. I don't really want to use that word, but like artsy. So as you can see, these are the three finished photos that I like. All the other ones I didn't really like that much or like didn't really want to edit. Also because like my face is kind of derpy and all of them, but. But yeah, that's the end of my Instagram video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below if you want to and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.